Today I'm going to show you how you can use my Toy Story chip bags in a free software called Canva. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Pie Designs community where we talk about everything to do with Silhouette Studio, Photoshop, Canva, PicMonkey and so many more other DIY assembly party decorations. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download your chip bag template which you'll find in the link in the description box down below. Find the correct age that you're wanting to use because I have provided you with ages 1 all the way through to ages 6. You download that and you will then go into a software called Canva. So you also look something similar to this and all we're going to do is pretty much start designing. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for a standard US letter size or it can be um, an A4 size uh, depending on where you are in the world and what printer your printer prints out that's the size canvas you're going to go with okay so I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to find a normal I'm just going to go US all right uh, okay so we typed in US letter size and you see how it's got the dimensions over here and it says 8.5 by 11 inches now I'm wanting to use those but I'm wanting to have a landscape size as opposed to a portrait size. So we're just going to rearrange those to the other, the other direction. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go custom dimensions and I'm going to put in here 11 inches by 8.5 inches. Okay and I'm just going to change that to inches. Let's see, let's go back. 11 by 8.5 and I'm going to hit create new design. And now it's going to bring up your canvas as a landscape. Then we're going to go over here and we're just going to upload our design. Click on here and add. All right, and you would just find where your template is located. Okay, once you've downloaded it, and here it is here. So I'm just going to click on that and hit open. And then it's going to go over here and it's going to start uploading your design. All right, and there's like a little blue little line that's going to go right across. And once it's hit, all the way to the end it means it's uploaded and then also here once this is finished it will um, it will be uploaded so there we go we're going to click on to that there is our design all we're going to do is we're going to increase you and increase you to cover the entire canvas and then just click off your design all right the next thing we're going to do is you're just going to add your name it's super easy all right now once again in the blog post I have provided you with the hex code colors and I'll explain what that is in just a minute and those are the colors that match this color for um, for the, the the number so that all kind of matches now you don't have to use those um, those colors but it just kind of makes it all blend in together all right so I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna click on to text and I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna add in my font and then you just pick whichever font you want now with canva you can't use font that you have uploaded unless you have upgraded to their um their paid their paid membership all right um so you might see that i have a few fonts that you wouldn't have in yours is because i have the paid version all right so we're just going to find exactly what you're looking for so whatever it would be let's just go let's just say um let's just go down and I'm just gonna go with say this one here all right and then I'm there it is there and all we're gonna do is and let's add in our name so I'm just gonna go over here and I'm just going to I'm just gonna add in Cody c-o-d-y all right and I'm gonna change the color of that to be this is where your hex code comes in okay so we're wanting to obviously change it to the yellow. Now, if you do have the paid version, it does come with the, the color picker tool. Okay, so that's always a great a great uh, extra feature to have. So it's 3D209. All right, and there it is there. And we're going to click on to you. All right, and let's just bring you up. And I'm just going to bring you up here. And then obviously you just put in your child's name all right and let's just bring you to the 
center. All right, so we're now just going to duplicate that. This is what I like to do. You're just gonna duplicate it by going, sorry, I hit right click, but all you do is click onto that there, all right? And then we're gonna change the color of that. And that's going to be 052E79, all right? And let's click onto you. And then we're just gonna drag you, make you a slightly bit bigger, and I'm gonna pop you in there. Now you can do it individually with um, each letter. That might be a little bit more easier, but it's up to you. Okay, so in a position, I'm just gonna send that to the back. Okay, and let's just make you a little bit smaller. to about there. All right, so I'm liking the way that's looking. Actually, let's just make you a little bit more smaller to about there. Okay, so what I would do then is click onto you and hold the hold the shift key and click onto you. So now I've got both of those. I'm gonna duplicate that and let's bring you down here and I'm just going to reduce the size and I'm gonna pop him in there, voila. That's how quick and easy it is. Now, obviously you can change it to whatever um, font you want and change the name. If you're wanting to change the details that are in here and in there, all you would need to do is go over here to elements and find a shape. So let's just give it a second. Okay, let's just go, we'll say this one here. Let's reduce the size, reduce the size. All right, let's bring you in there. Okay, I would then just change the color to whatever color it is. Now that's obviously not the same color, okay? Um, and that's why it's always great to have a, um, you can almost just use this to find, there we go. All right, so even there, so you can almost just bring that further out and that further out okay and then you can add in some font on top of that so click onto that let's just go with this little one here and say you are my hero whatever whatever it is you want to do okay let's just make you a little bit bigger make you go there bring you further down and click and pop you on top thank you However you want to do it, it's up to you, okay? But um, that is what you can do. If you're wanting to obviously change that or if you want to change that, you would do the exact same thing. Okay, so once you have done that, all we're then going to do is you're just going to print it out. Save it and print it. Um, so what I like to do is go over here and we're going to download it. So hit download. Now you can download it as a PNG file. You can download it as a, um, a standard PDF file. Um, there's so many different options that you can do, okay? What I would normally do is, if I'm gonna go ahead and go print this, I would print it as a print, uh, PDF print, okay? Or if I'm gonna send it to somewhere to go print, that's what I'm gonna print, all right? But let's just go with this, um, let's just go with a standard PDF, and then all you hit is download, and then you just download it onto your computer. All right, guys, so that's it on how to make a Toy Story chip bag in Canva. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and you will give it a go feel free to like share subscribe to my channel and send me any comments that you might have regarding um, canva or toy story or just chip bags in general i look forward to doing more canva tutorials for you guys it's a great software to use and it is once again free to use too all right, all right guys i'll see you in next week's videos take care